Hi, Taurus. So thank you guys for tuning into my channel. Please keep in mind that my readings are general and may or may not resonate. We'll take with us and leave the rest. Also, please be sure to check your sun, moon, rising, and Venus sign for more insight. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Also, if you guys would like to book a personal with me, everything that you need is going to be down in the comment section. As well as my new horoscope page on Instagram. Please feel free to follow that as well. It's free and it's open to you guys. Alright, Taurus. So, first card out is release your ex. It says the time has come to clear your energy. Second card out is playfulness. It says to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Last card out is worth waiting for. It says divine timing is at work in your love life. Bottom of the deck is unrequited love. It says there's not enough attraction or chemistry here to keep this relationship going. Alright, Taurus. So, right off the back, I feel like somebody is fucking playing with you. And I feel like it's time for you to release this motherfucker that think you're a game. I feel like the love that you want is coming in. Look at this. The love that you want is coming in, but you're going to have to release your ex first. I feel like this person that you're going to meet is going to be very worth waiting for, okay? Okay, Spirit, so let's see. Tell us what's going on with these Tauruses. I feel like you could be dealing with a Leo or somebody that's holding back from giving you the attention that you want. I feel like that's because this person was dealing with other people. Yeah, this person is a player. They run in and out of your life. And I feel like you're trying to cut this person off, but you're still thinking about them. You're getting over this, though, which is very good. I don't see you in the energy of still feeling like you have to have this person, okay? But for some reason, they're still in your energy. So maybe you're still thinking about it. We are in retrograde, okay? So, let's see. Spirit, tell me more. Tell me more about Tauruses. Yeah, I feel like you walked away from this person so that you can grow elsewhere. But this person still might be in contact with you. Or this person might still be trying to get attention from you. Or you might just still be having sex with this person. And that's where the conflict is coming in at. Because with the Five of Wands here, it's like... This situation is going to remain stable, unstable because this person cannot be the person that you want them to be. Yeah, but you keep taking this person back. I see you finally deciding to uh, block this person. Maybe after finding out again that they're juggling you with someone else. Yeah, I also feel like this person has become very cold and detached. So now you know the truth about the situation. That the relationship that you want with this person is not with them. It's with someone new. Okay, and I feel like this person is coming in. But again, you're going to have to cut this person off first. Hmm. So, let's get the outcome. Spirit, what is the outcome? What is the outcome for my Taurus gang? I feel like you're still going to be indecisive about this person because they're playing mind games and they're fucking you good. Because with that being said, with this moon card here, you still don't know what the fuck is going on. It's like you know, but you still don't know because this person runs a good game on you, basically. Okay? What is the uh, advice from Spirit? It's time for you to start opening up to talk to new people here. Yeah, explore your options. Maybe get that great loving from somewhere else. <laughs> okay, so let's get one card from the Rebel deck. One card from the Rebel deck for Taurus, please. It says, fuck, shit is about to get real. You need your people around you. All right, I don't know what's going on, but take care.